somebody asked me to ask you this. We, we talked about workforce today, but they asked me, are robots going to take our jobs, everybody's jobs in the future? Or how, how much do you see they artificial do. intelligence coming into the, the workplace? Um, well, first of all, I, I think on the artificial intelligence front, um, you know, I, I have exposure to the very, the very most cutting edge um, AI. Um, uh, and I think people should be really concerned about it. Um, I keep so sounding the alarm bell, but you know, until people see like robots going down the street killing people, like they don't know how to react, you know, because it seems so ethereal. Um, and um, I think we should be really concerned about AI. And I think we should. This is, AI is a rare case where I think we need to be proactive in regulation instead of reactive. Um, because I think by the time we are reactive in AI regulation, it's too late. Um, and no, normally the way regulations are set up is that a whole bunch of bad things happen, there's a public outcry, the, the, and then after many years, a regulatory agency is set up to regulate that industry. Um, and there's a bunch of opposition from companies who don't like being told what to do by regulators. Um, and it takes forever. Um, that, you know, that in the past ha has been bad, but not um, something which represented a, uh, you know, a fundamental risk to the existence of civilization. AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization um, in a way that car accidents, uh, airplane crashes, um, faulty drugs uh, or bad food were, were not. They were, not they, they were harmful to, to uh, a set of individuals within society, of course, but they were not harmful to society as a whole. Um, AI is a fundamental existential risk for human civilization, and I don't think people fully appreciate that. Um, you know, it's not, it's not fun being regulated. It's not, you know, uh, be pretty irksome, but uh, you know, in the car business, we, you know, we get regulated uh, by Department of Transport, by EPA, and a bunch of others. Um, and, and there's regulatory agencies in every every country. You know, in the in space, that the, we get regulated by FAA. Um, and um, but but you know, if you ask the average person, hey, you want to do you want to get rid of the FAA, um, and just like Take a, take a chance on manufacturers not cutting corners on the aircraft because uh, you know profits were down that quarter. Uh, I was like, eh, hell no. Um, <laughs> um, that sounds terrible. <laughs> so um, you know, I think even people who are pretty you know, extremely like libertarian free market, they'd be like, yeah, we should probably have somebody keeping an eye on the aircraft companies, making sure they build a good aircraft um, and good cars and that kind of thing. So. You know, I think there's, there's a role for regulators um, that's very important. Um, and I'm against overregulation for sure. Uh, but man, we've, I think we've got to get on that with AI pronto. Um, and uh, so, so there'll certainly be a lot of job disruption. Um, because what's going to happen is robots will be able to do everything better than us. I'm, inclu I'm including, I mean, all of us, you know. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what to do about this. <laughs> um, it's like the, it's the, like, it, this is really like the scariest problem to me, I'll tell you. Um, and, um, yeah, so I really think we need government regulation here just to, because this is, you know, ensuring the public good is served. Because you've got companies that are racing, that they kind of have to race to build AI, or they're going to be uh, made uncompetitive. You know, like the, essentially, if your competitor is racing to build AI and you don't, they will crush you. So then you're like, ah, we don't want to be crushed. So, uh, you know, I guess we need to build it too. Um, that's where you need the regulators to come in and say, hey guys, um, you all need to really, you know just 
pause and make sure this is safe. And like when, when it's cool and, we're and the regulators are convinced that it's safe to proceed, then you can go. But otherwise, slow down. Um, and, but, slow, but you kind of need the regulators to do that for, for all the teams in the game. You know, uh, otherwise the shareholders will be saying like, hey, why aren't you developing AI faster? Um, because your competitor is. I'm like, uh, okay, we better do that. Um, Anyway, so it's like, I mean, there's like something like 12% of jobs are transport. Transport will be one of the first things to go fully autonomous. But when I say everything, like the robots will be able to do everything, bar, bar nothing. 